And welcome to your Go Market update with Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets for the 7th of June 2022. I hope you're well today. Let's just have a look at what's come across the news. In the overnight session, US equity markets did close positively but were significantly higher at the start of the session. We saw Treasury yields rise again. The 10 year has moved back over 3% again, which is the sixth straight day of gains as inflation worries continue. Obviously, we've got that inflation number at the end of the week out of the US. US futures are mildly negative in early Asian trading and Asian indices are mixed in early trading as well. We're seeing the Nikkei slightly higher. We're seeing the ASX off around 0.6%, but obviously we've got the RBA decision this afternoon which will influence markets. The expectation is that it could be a 0.5% rise. European futures are pointing to a lower open. On the FX front, the US dollar index edged higher on that bond yield price action. Subsequently, with that USD strength, we saw gold drop to the bottom of the range and test 1835 support. All, however, continues to be trading just above that 120 level around about 122 this morning on the brent cfd contract and the vix has bounced off that important 25 support level doesn't seem to want to move downwards and again that's suggestive of just a little bit of market anxiety creeping in bitcoin had another bad day at the office yesterday and give it the previous day's gains and it's back to 30,000 course we've got the rba decision as we said we've also got german factory orders and u.s trade balance numbers due later not a massive day on the data front but it ramps up as we've already suggested as the week progresses a couple of charts to have a look at today that have caught our eye and we'll start with the gb pound aussie dollar and you can see we've got to move up back over this 174.20 level we talked about this yesterday on the live update session expecting a possible move up to this level here and we've actually moved through it and as you can see in this morning's trading we've moved over the next level at 74.40 and if we just bring this back a little bit you can see perhaps we've got this 175.12 in our sights. now this is surprising of course with the expectation being that we have a rise this afternoon but possibly worth having a look at for 50 pips. Uh, but obviously it's not something we'd want to hold through that interest rate decision unless we trail a very tight stop. On the ASX, we are interested in what's happening with GNC. So Grain Corp. We saw a pullback from end of April highs to test this support at 9.45 bounced off that fairly significantly had a very strong day yesterday we're up slightly today but we look as though we're heading back up to that 1087 uh, that potentially would be a seven percent rise from where we are now so just see how this candle appears at the back end of the session trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now